All right, we're back. We have returned home. It wasn't a very eventful walk, trust me. Um, we see all these people that look far better equipped than I do, and we can complete our quest with Nessa. A medicine chest. This means more to us than you can know. There are some who wouldn't have lasted the night without it. I know, I'm Take so it. nice. In return for the knowledge that one can do more than suffer and rake fast. You and Tarkley, you give us something better than serums and salve. You give us hope. Oh! Just... Get, oh. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Medium life flask. A medium mana flask or a quick silver flask. A 40% increase in movement speed. Hmm. Well, the life flasks haven't been doing me so well at the moment, and I can't identify them anyway, so let's go with a quick silver flask. Thank you very much. Um, we should also probably sell all these unwanted items. Uh, that gives us more alteration shards. Superior Driftwood Wand. Another Superior Driftwood Wand. Um, let's keep hold of those scepters until we can actually identify some of them, shall we? Heavily Nailed Fist, which currently serves no use for us. Goat Hide Bucklers. Um, really? Gosh, I would have thought we'd had more identified. So, we'll accept that for the moment. Uh, we shall, of course, equip our potion, I think, to three. Keep selling items. Uh, now, what do we identify? We identify these gauntlets. Plus one mana gained on kill. That's quite a good one. So, if I can just equip these. Oh dear, this looks like I'm having connectivity problems. The one issue that I have with this game. There we go. Although that might be simply because I couldn't, um, sadly, actually equip them for that moment whilst in the shop. So, tell you what, what we'll do is, we have this stash over here, we have a little chest which we can put items in, and let's keep hold of these unidentified items until we can actually identify them. I'm also going to keep hold of this small mana flask on the basis that we might not actually like having the Quicksilver flask. It allows to get from point to point a bit quicker, I think, but I can't necessarily see you using it too much in combat. And it looks like Bestil has something to tell us. So, you managed to salvage Shaky Hands' druggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack hop delivered it. Here, have one of these. Ooh, he has something more for us. We have an ability. Okay, I think we're definitely going to put something in the blue. Because we have blue sockets. And no use in the moment. So what do we have? We have Raise Zombie. That's kind of cool, but not very temporary. A Fireball. Okay. Ice Nova, which we saw earlier. Or Spark. We also have these two new abilities. A Heavy Strike. Again, which we can put in one of these red ones. Or a Sweep. 75% base damage. A heavy strike. What should we go with? Well, I think we I think we need spells of some kind. So why don't we go with spark? Or do we just want to do we just want to specialize in our massive massive weapons? I don't know. No, we have a bit of intelligence. Let's try to spell. We don't have anything at range, so I'm going to get spark. And that fits with the kind of lightning damage theme I already have with this club. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I wonder how to get new... Ah! Tarkley has something else for us. Give me a quest. Animals don't seem to rise up after death the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in that fetid pool near the mud flats. I know the place stinks to high heaven. But so does the idea of a flock of overactive bird carcasses hungry for a bit of living meat. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good Get idea. Out and deal to whatever's raising those birds. It would be in your debt. Raising birds? Oh, Lord. Um, okay. Sure, I'll deal with undead birds. 
Where are we going? Uh, that's Lions I Watch, that's the coast. That, I assume, is the tar pit. Okay. So, we must progress through the coast and head to the tar pits to slay a flock of undead scavengers. That sounds like it's going to be lots of fun. Alright, well, we've done the coast already, so I shall see you, gentlemen, at the mudflats, where we shall fight for God and dead pigeons. Ugh. So, we progress on our way to the mudflats, having gone past Tidal Isle, and I was thinking, we haven't tested out our lightning spark spell yet. How about we give it a go on this willing group of walking corpses? So it seems to be bound to my Q button, rather than the middle mouse button. Interesting. Sadly, it's not nearly as ranged as I hope it might be, but it gives us a little something to harass with before we go in for the actual battle. Now let's pick up this shabby jerkin. Let's search through this impaled corpse's guts for a superior crude bow. Hmm. Might be able to get a nice few scroll fragments for that. I think that way is actually the way we're supposed to be going, so let's keep on, uh, keep on tr trucking, trucking. I cannot pronounce that to save my life. Let's keep on trucking toward down the beach. Oh, and here's the entrance to the mudflats. Okay, so clearly there's something else down that mysterious path. But for now, we have undead pigeons to deal with. So off we go. So here we are, and it's become a lot warmer. And, um, somewhat more humid. God, that makes a change. Ooh, a waypoint. Um. Oh, hello! We can beam directly from there to Lion Eyes Watch. Excellent. So we can skip out the coast. Means I won't have to have go for any long walks. Oh, hello, Roa Scavenger. Charges and resists cold. Okay, let's take him on. Oh my God! Ow! Well, at least I can take them down with a well-timed slam. Each bloody step. Yes, it does. So where are we going now? One-handed damage or further into two-handed damage? D do we even need to ask? I mean, really? Let's increase increase our large piece of wood damage and continue. I keep forgetting, sadly, that uh, Lightning Sparks is not bound to the middle mouse button, which is where I'm used to it. I wonder if there's a way to change key bindings. I don't actually know. So let's have a look at our map. I'm not entirely sure what our aim actually is. I believe it's to simply find out what's causing the raising of the dead. Oh, that was an entirely empty chest. Wah wah. Whoa! Hoo -hoo -hoo. A superior stone axe. Let's launch some uh, lightning sparks. Ow. That charge is very irritating, I won't lie. Uh, oh, that does a lot of damage. That actually does. Significantly more damage than our Driftwood Maul. Hmm. It doesn't do lightning damage. It doesn't add to my strength or give me life gain on kill. No, I'm not tempted by it just yet. But maybe. Maybe if we uh, find a way to make it magical, then that would be worth equipping. Because that is definitely a superior weapon to my Well, it is actually a weapon as opposed to a large piece of driftwood, which is what I've been using so far. Zombies! Oh, aren't you precious? Your spark gem is now ready to level up. I haven't actually used it all that much. But it's good to know I can put another point into it. Oh, these are dripping dead. I think these are different to drowned dead, clearly. Sweating a bit more, probably. And this was the way we were going to come down. We can just tap lightly on these poor people and watch them collapse and continue our search. That was probably overkill, I apologise. Most of these resist cold, so I'm not really that enthusiastic about using my glacial hammer on them. A row of nest. A Halliot's Glyph. Ooh, and a superior scare mask. It's great. Ooh, this is no mere decoration. Find a use for the strange glyph in the mudflats. How bizarre. 
What would an undead bird wish with a glyph? Well, we shall find out. In the meantime, the superior scare mask gives me an extra evasion rating and a bit of an energy shield. Now, that might actually be better than this pathetic bit of stuff. It's a lower evasion rating, but I get a bit of energy shield. Oh, and this happens to have a gem stuck in it. Let's try it out. Besides, I now look like a complete mass murderer. Which is always good, I think, for a Templar. You know, you've got to have a bit of a psychological warfare going on. And can only add to your stratagem. She'll continue. Are you scared of me? No, but it doesn't particularly matter in the greater scheme of things. <sighs> oh. Well, it seems the uh, small amount of energy shield I have can be taken down in one hit. Ooh, excellent. A scroll of wisdom. I need more of those. More zombie kiwis. Oh, come on. Tell me that's not what they look like. She'll continue looking for a use of this strange glyph. I think we've already been up here. And there was a way to leave markers down, because I'm going to be intensely forgetful and can always be backtracking. Ow. Yeah, the energy shield is only lasting for one hit. Never mind. It's like a small amount. You know, might do something. Black storms Ooh. descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred, lashing our backs, tearing at our houses. The rain is shot with shadow. It withers our crops, sickens our livestock. And the wind, the wind carries with it a restless spirit that breeds melancholy and madness. A spirit that creeps through our dreams, weaves tales of misdeed around our resting minds. We try not to listen. We try to remember ourselves. Some of us forget. Hmm. Brothers fight. Brothers die. Calm punishes those that quarrel, that steal, that murder. Yet still the nightmares goad us into malefaction. We, Kardui, are banished from sleep. Ooh. Who are these Karui? And why are they so good at making carvings? Questions we must all ask ourselves at one point or another. Oh my god, ow! Berserk Kiwis, Berserk Kiwis! A splintered tower shield. No use to us at the moment, given that we are... We have both hands full. With our pillar of manhood. Ooh! Vengeful Great Rower! These guys are a... <laughs> they're a bit more of a challenge. They take two hits. Uh, a battered helm. Oh, oh, that might be. That gives us armor and evasion. I think that might be better than our superior scare mask. I'm sorry. Doesn't look as good. I know. Oh no, no, we've got to have the sack. This is the swamp. I can't go about it anything else than the sack. Fear me, for I am a master of the sack. See? I mean, you know, it's clear that the scariness of the sack meant that these killer kiwis could do nothing. They were petrified. And another nest. Okay. <laughs> They're useless at charging, I have to say. They try so hard. But they really are. A rosiest glyph. It's pleasing she remains even in shadow as if it were somehow lit from within. You know, as a holy man, I don't feel comfortable carrying all these, you know, terrible items of knowledge that man may not know of. It's, you know, not really part of my job description. Smacking things with a large piece of wood. Now that, that is definitely part of my CV. But, yeah... So we've got to find somewhere to focus all this unholy power. We'll probably end up raising the dead ourselves. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Green. Ooze back bloom. Ow. That hurt. Ow. Yes. Oh, my God. He was a disgusting critter. 
What do we have? We have a stone axe. Chain boots. I am no beast of burden. Of course you're not. My god, we fill up quickly. Okay. We'll drop... Oh, I can't drop the iron greaves. They have my... Okay, we can put... We can put the gem in the gloves and then drop the iron greaves and put on chain boots. Which we have to identify beforehand. We can certainly drop the uh, tower shield. That's taking up far too much room. And use the scroll of wisdom. Plus 9 to armor and 4% increased quantity of items found. Ooh, the lacquered chain boots are collecting. We will take those. Now, another stone axe. Um, not as good as our superior stone axe, so I don't think that'll be taken up. A simple robe, a scare mask, and a rusted sword. No, there's nothing in there that I particularly find interesting. That was good. That was definitely a decent pickup, but any everything else, nah. So let's move on. Oh, oh, hello! An exclamation mark has appeared. We shall head towards this clearly divine sign and see what we find ourselves. Another scare mask. My God, there are sacks everywhere. Oh, this also gives adds to our energy. Another scroll of wisdom, that's handy. This also adds to our energy shield, so hopefully it's not simply a one-hit boof, it's gone. Continue down these strange unknown paths. Ooh. Find the glyphs in the rower nests. I found both of them, I think. No, I need three, and I only have two. Okay. Where have I not explored? But uh, there must be another Rowaness. Maybe it's closer towards the coast. That seems to be one of the few places I haven't looked. Or maybe I walked past it without even noticing. There isn't the Great Rower, who didn't put up much of a fight. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies! How many people can we get in our shockwave? Come on. Come to me! I shall herd you like some necromantic border collie. There we go. That looks like a decent number. Ooh. <laughs> this is this is more fun than it should be. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> oh, it's like skittles. Wait, one was actually trying to run. How dare you! Uh, Spark gem is again ready to level up, despite the fact I'm not really using it. Maybe I just add the experience that I gain from slaying enemies to it. Aha! This looks promising. And I picked something up there. Actually, no, I didn't. I just masked over it. It's another nailed fist! And a crude bow, which I don't really want. Ammonite Glyph. When put to the ear, it whispers not of the sea, but long dead incantations. Alright. So we have our three unholy artifacts with knowledge of what man may know not of. Kind of got lost in my own sentence there. Let's see what we can do with them! Whilst simultaneously smashing up barrels. Gnarled Branch. It's very good, but I don't think I'm going to take it. I have a feeling that will take up a lot of room, and I don't have a lot of room to spare. So, come then, what secrets may we discover? Oh, I've missed another exclamation mark up there. The cave is now open. Talk to Tale for your reward. Okay. Very well, lower submerged passage. We shall meet again. For now, I'm going to, uh, check on what that exclamation point is, see if it's anything of interest. Oh. Did it change location? I'm sure it was... Oh, I see. It was purely the row nests. What a shame. Oh, well. Having slaughtered all of these birds, then, we shall trudge back through the carnage we have wrought. The carnage... We are still reeking. And head back to Lion's Eye Watch with the information that we have placed these glyphs in a wall and then 
done nothing, but I'm sure they were very pretty, if unholy. Let's see. Off we go. Ah, so this is our waypoint. This is what we use to get around, I suspect. So let's meet with Tali and tell him what the glyphs we found were, even though I don't know. We'll tell him something. So, you opened the tidal passage and lived to tell the tale. Forgive me if I don't seem over the moon. Kill the Dweller of the Deep. I was running down a wounded Ra one night's eve, when I glimpsed something in the watery cave, behind the mists of the falls. It looked a bit like one of those sand spitters, with the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it would be nesting down in a flooded depth somewhere, below that submerged tunnel. You'll be going that way, then. Do us a favor. Take this and go spill the old shield crab's guts. Before it gets hungry, it Ooh, for us. a crab. Okay, so we're getting another ability. In the meantime, shall we get something a bit more close quarters? Oh, hello. Decoy totem. Someone's a totem that talks nearby monsters to attack it. That's intriguing. Shield charge is not much use to us, I'm afraid. Oh, let's get our heavy strike. A firestorm. My god, that sounds awesome. Uh, an infernal blow. Ooh, hits the enemy, converting some of your physical damage to fire damage. The enemy sort of dies soon after being hit. They will explode, dealing fire damage to nearby enemies. Requires a sword, axe, mace, staff, or unarmed. A drifted ball counts as a mace? I think we may need that. Where was it? Infernal blow. 50% of physical damage. Well, I'm doing a lot of physical damage. Yeah, we're totally getting that. It's a shame we have nowhere to put it. Damn. Okay. We'll sell all of this stuff. Crude quiver. We do not need a battered helm. Which I will get rid of because we have, of course, the murderer mask and really don't need it. Driftwood wand. I don't know about getting rid of the mask. That ask. Get rid of that axe. I mean, it is a lot. It is better. Not significantly, but it is better. No, we'll leave it for the moment. The elemental damage is too good. So how empty is it? Okay, so we'll remove... Glacial Hammer, I think, has rather outlived its welcome. We'll add Infernal Blow. And I think because everything has cold resistance down there, it'll serve even less use. Alright. Let us meet this so-called... Dweller of the Deep? The Dweller of the Deep. Clear the fetid pool of all undead and many other monsters. Ah, so that that's off there. Okay. Let us find this tidal passage, and let us slay this mighty beast. I shall see you at the tidal caves.